In the last six months since starting the job as the caretaker, I've had quite a lot of interaction with turtles. We've swum with them, we've definitely dived with them, and we got so close that up in the Torres Straits, I actually ate some of one. But tonight, we're gonna go and see how the new generation of turtles appear. They're actually at the moment, in the middle of December, laying their eggs. We've arrived from Bundaberg, we've driven 15 minutes away to Bagara, and we're going down to Monrepos which is a famous turtle rookery. And here we are, in the dark of the beach at the Monrepos Centre. 6pm till 6am the beach is closed off. That's when the turtles are about. There's rumour that they're here already. This is the visitor centre at Monrepo, and it's an amazing place. There's so much information here about turtle laying, turtle hatching, there's some models and some scale size. Look how huge this thing is when it's fully grown. And then the little babies that come up the beach are only this big. They're tiny. So they all struggle to stand a chance when they come up. And their first sign of life they get is they come out of the sand and scramble down the beach. It's probably going to be a bird hitting them from above. And then they get in the water and there's fish trying to eat them. And very, very few of them actually survive. But the ones that do and the ones that get to be this big can live between 80 and 100 years. I'm on the beach and we're trying to find the turtles. They're here, they're around, we've just got to find the groups where they are. Apparently there are some just this direction but we can't go there because of the light, so it might be a bit dark with photography tonight, but we're definitely going to find some turtles. This is a 35 year old female loggerhead turtle who has made her way up from the water's edge up the beach and is slowly using her rear flippers to excavate the hole. It's about 25 centimetres deep and 60 centimetres long and over the course of the next 20 minutes she'll lay around 120 eggs before covering the hole, turning around and making for the ocean once more. So hang on, some light's going to be there. Start filming. Can you drop your camera if that's alright? I need some footage for my blog, son. Right. Well. Just give me a second. You can stay there, Jason. You can even black there, mate. Jay, do you want to come around here and just be here? That's possible. Just need to get some information from this turtle. All right. Well, can right, I grab that? Jay, can um. I think if we should like going to be. Awesome. We can take a few photos and stuff, which we need to at this stage. She, the turtle has now laid all of her eggs. She's covering over the hole. It's going to scatter the sand to the four corners of the beach and then head back down to the water. This is an incredible experience and something I feel very privileged to see. Okay, is everyone right for a mission? Okay, now our turtle has two tags. It's a better chance of her keeping them in and we'll be able to track her in many years to come. Good news. So what she's doing now guys, she's actually starting to use her two front flippers as well as the two rear. What she's doing is disguising the whole nest area. So oh, this is good. her being oh, a mum at her best. That's her gone. She's making her way down the beach now to taste the water, to taste the ocean once more. She's laid around 120 eggs here. There are four clutches that she will lay after that one fertilization from the male about 14 days ago. The eggs will sit here now on the beach for about six weeks at 28 and a half degrees C. That is the optimum temperature. If it's any warmer than that, they come out female. If 
is any cooler than that, they come out male. It's a very fine balance, it's an amazing world, and we've been very, very lucky to witness this.